Hey, this is Chad. I'm going to take you through the new Google Places scraper. And um, it's, of course, it uses Google, uh, it uses the new Google um, Places API. So it gives us a lot of information, and uh, we're using it uh, via the official Google Places API. So uh, you simply just type in a, uh, a query. So, like uh, Plumbers in Denver, for example, and just click Run. You see, there's a lot of columns here, and um, it's going to run for uh, just a few seconds, and then it'll populate with all the info. So it starts with the name, full address, then it breaks it into street, city, state, country, zip, phone. This is great for uh, if you're dropping these into a an outbound dialer, such as uh, the Open BBX dialer system I put together. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask for uh, business web addresses in here, so it's an easy way to quickly just pull up the, the website for various uh, businesses that you pull up. And then um, the a direct link to their places page. So if you want to see what their page looks like, uh, you can just click and it'll go right to their Google Places page. And then uh, some other columns for photos, like how many photos are on their Places page, what, how many reviews. One thing to keep in mind is Google Places, the API only returns the, the top five or the last five reviews. So uh, this might be five or it might be, five, uh, it might be six or ten or a hundred, you don't know. But if it's less than five, like for example three, we know that they only have three reviews. Uh, the average rating uh, for that business, uh, for the reviews, so you could use all this information for determining if you want to contact them for some reason. Uh, latitude and longitude, that's in here in case uh, you might have a need for it. I don't know. Um, but uh, something else that's interesting, that uh, useful, is you can go through here and also see their hours of operation. So when do they open on Monday and when do they close? Uh, all the way through the week. So in some niches, you'll find that um, businesses are you know open uh, at certain times uh, and close at certain times and that might determine when do you send out a phone blast because you want to leave a voicemail. Uh, plumbers tend to be open a lot because they're kind of a lot of times 24 hours but other niches maybe they don't open till 10 or 11 during the day so you might want to blast uh, a voicemail out to them um, you know, earlier in the morning. But uh, again this this system is just for getting that initial data. It doesn't it doesn't actually, um, as I'm talking about voicemails, and the system doesn't do that. But if you're you're interested, there's a link down here to the Open VBX dialer system that I use. So um, then we end up with a Google ID in case you need that, and then finally um, a uh, the query that you actually entered. So once you've done that, I've done it for Denver, but maybe now I want to do it for a nearby another location so I could type in Colorado Springs and run that. Now one thing to note is Google only returns up to 60 records so in most most cities even large cities for specific niches you're gonna get uh, probably less uh, records there's probably fewer than 60 plumbers in Denver so if I scroll through here once I get through Denver you'll see some other cities popping up that are uh, suburbs of Denver so um, that means we've probably hit all the Denver plumbers, but there's a bunch of cities nearby that we can um, also search. So one of the other requests I got from my previous scraper, which was only uh, worked with DexNose.com, this one works specifically with the Google Places API. Um, you can type in anything you want into, this, into the query field. So you could even type in a zip code. So if I typed in... Um, uh, for example, 80903, and I ran uh, the query. We're going to get some more results. Now, 80903 is actually Colorado Springs, so I'm going to get some duplicates in here. But when you download it, all your duplicates are removed. Um, so let's see here, Colorado Springs. And, and you'll also get, even though I typed in 80903, uh, you also get surrounding zip code. So Google will pull everything it can from the, your specific query, but it'll, it'll pull from surrounding areas as well. So you see that I quickly have gotten 180 records, and I, if I just click download, I'll get a CSV file.
which will open in uh, a spreadsheet program. I'm using Excel, so if I click this and then go to uh, Excel here, you'll see all this data is in here. So here's the name, the address, the full address, followed by the breakdown, city, state, country, zip. This field is the phone number, and then uh, the URLs to the sites, um, the uh, and then all the other things. So the rating or the um, number of pictures, number of reviews, average rating, uh, longitude, latitude, and then their open and closing hours. So if you're uh, say, well, today's Monday, and I want to look at all the, uh, I could sort by all the, you know. Uh, places that maybe aren't open yet today or if they're closed today and that type of thing. Some of them don't have that information. That might be an indication that they haven't claimed or set up their Google Plus or their Google Places uh, page yet and you'd want to contact them about that. And um, so that's it. You can uh, use this uh, a lot of different ways for prospecting. And uh, again, the great thing about uh, the query up here is you can type in any any query that would pull up businesses from within Google Places. So thanks for checking it out.